Hello, my name is Andre and I'm happy to show you what our team has achieved during the App Project Challenge. Let's start with the problem we try to solve. Our client is from the UCL hospital and her problem is to improve the efficiency in allocating rooms to the patients based on their priority. Going from this problem, my team has set 15 requirements in total and the most important ones being to allow the nurses to introduce patients along with their diseases in the system and the system to compute their score. Also the nurses should be able to assign rooms to patients. My team has done a great job and managed to over deliver the set of requirements with 5 additional features. The most important one being that the system is fully customizable. Whether we talk about the rooms or diseases, they can be changed from a hospital to another. Hence, my team has created a centralized hub for managing patients and their distribution across rooms in the hospital. The application is available on both desktop and mobile and the nurses were very happy to work with it either in the office or in the hospital. The team has set three key priorities in the development process. The user interface has to be familiar to the nurses because they will work with the application. Moreover, the application has to be extensible so that the NHS developers can take it and develop it further. Also, we wanted the application to be fast and stable. Hence, the overall system architecture is very familiar to most developers. The user interacts with the web application or the front-end, which send the request to the server, and the server queries the database for the needed information. Talking about specific technologies, my team has used Node.js with Express Framework on the backend because of its popularity and speed and the multitude of available libraries that are freely available online. On the front end, my team has relied on the framework Bootstrap for responsiveness on desktop and mobile and jQuery for interactions with the client. The database is of type NoSQL or more specifically MongoDB and all three components interact using Microsoft Azure. Let's now see a live demo of the application. The main part is the dashboard, where the user sees live data about the patients in the hospital. The page is divided into three tables, patients in the rooms on the left side, patients currently waiting to get a room in the middle, and the currently free rooms available in the hospital in the right side. Due to this design, the nurses see live everything important happening in the hospital. Some patients have a warning sign representing that their diagnosis hasn't been updated for 24 hours. The nurses can search for specific patients and can sort them using some criteria, for example, the hospital number. Let's walk through a complete use case of the application and hence start with adding a new patient in the system. Let's add Elon Musk as a patient in our hospital and give him the hospital number 2100 and he is born on the 28th of June 1971 and let's suppose that he has diabetes and conjunctivitis. Let's add the patient. Now we are prompted back to the dashboard and we see that Elon is waiting to get a room. We see his score which is 55 so it's very dangerous to let him without a room. So we decide to assign him a room. Let's say that we want to put Elon in the room T0602. So we want to make the change. Now we see that Elon was assigned to a room. After a while, we might decide that people with diabetes don't need to be isolated in singular rooms. And hence, we decide to delete the disease from our system. So we go to system settings. And now we want to search for diabetes and delete the disease from the system. We go back to the dashboard and we see the diabetes score was taken out of Elon's scores because it is no longer in our system. Now, because Elon has a decent score, we might decide that we want to discharge him from the room. So we go on his personal page and here 
we can decide either to change his diagnosis, hence uncheck conjunctivities, we update the patient and his score is now set to be zero. Now we might decide that we want to discharge Elon from his room, so we move him to the waiting list. Now his room is back in the free rooms table. Overall, the team has created a system that solved the client's problem and managed to fulfill all the requirements. Moreover, we have over-delivered with many features and the system we created is fully extensible so it can be further developed by the NHS developers. Thank you for listening.